Good day, students. Um, in this group, we're going to be going over how to uh, graph ellipses. Uh, this is part two of conic sections. So let's go ahead and write down the instruction for the notes. We're going to be focusing mainly on just the general, on the standard form in this installment, okay? So the instructions is to identify, identify uh, the given conic. Um, find all relevant components find all relevant components um, graph and label completely okay graph and label completely all right um, Okay, let's go ahead and write down the first equation. Number one, we're looking at the equation, the conic with the equation x uh, minus two square over four plus y plus one square over 16 equals one, okay? So this is the standard form of the equation of a conic, all right? So the question now is, what um, conic is this? Well, how can we classify it? So it is already in standard form. Well, there are three things that can help me identify what kind of conic this is. We know that um, we have two squares of plus, which makes it, it could make it a circle, but if you take a, take a look at the denominators, they're different, which means it's gonna be stretching more in the in the um, y direction. So that means that this is going to be an ellipse. All right? This is an ellipse. If the numbers were the same, then it would be a circle, but the numbers are different, so that makes it an ellipse. Okay? All right. Now let's find the relevant components. Uh, we need to find first thing is the uh, center. So the same procedure for the clip on um, the clip on uh, circles. You do the opposite. So opposite of negative two is positive two. Opposite of positive one is negative one. That goes the center. And now um, an ellipse has something called the axis. Two axes. All right. So we're going to find the direction of both axes. So direction of axis. Now. There are two axes. One goes in, in the x direction. You know the x axis goes side to side. So that one, to find that one, what we're going to do is we're going to take the square root of the number on the x. Okay. So the direction of the axis, um, we're going to do the square root of four. Square root of four is what? Two. And then we're go that's going to be two units side to side. All right. From the center. Why we're going side to side? Because that's what's under the x. Okay. And then um, for the y, the y-axis goes up and down, and we have a 16 under the y. So the direction of the axis in the y direction is the square root of 16, which is 4. So basically go 4 units up and down. All right? So we have to identify which is major and which is minor in this case. Um, this one is smaller than that, so that makes it minor. And this is the bigger one, so this is going to be the major axis okay so let's keep that in mind all right next thing we need to find is the c for the foci all right the c for the foci of the um ellipse so c for the foci for the foci so for this one we're gonna do c is gonna equal the square root of now if we look at the equation we notice that there's a plus here so we're going to subtract, do the opposite. We're going to subtract the bigger from the smaller. So we're going to have 16 uh, minus 4. 16 minus 4 is, is uh, 12. So the square root of 12. That can be reduced into 2 root 3. And 2 root 3, if we want to graph it, is approximately uh, 3.5. Let's uh, work with one decimal place here in this problem, OK? So we can graph it with ease. Now the question is, what direction does the full cycle? The foci goes in the direction of the major axis. So the major axis goes up and down, guess what? The foci also goes in that direction, up and down. If you wanted to go side to side, you're going to end up outside the outside the ellipse, which is wrong. 
All right. Okay. Now we have all the information we need. Now let's go ahead and graph. All right. So let's graph. So let's see. Um, our ellipse is centered at uh, two negative one. So we're going to go to the right two and down one. So it's going to be centered um, in the fourth quadrant. We're going to go four units up and down. So as high as three and as low as negative five. So uh, we're going to make our um, our um, x-axis. We're going to situate it right at the center. Okay, put it at the center, and then there goes my y-axis. All right, so let's label our axis. So we have um, this is y x. This is my x-axis. This is my y-axis. My center is 2, negative 1. So starting from the center, you go 1, 2, and negative 1. There goes my center, 2, and uh, negative 1. OK, now next thing I'm going to draw is the direction of my axis, OK? I'm told to go side to side, 2 units for my minor. So 1, 2, there goes 1 minor, 1, 2, there goes the second minor. And then up, down, 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4, that's 1. Then another one, one, two, three, four. All right, so these points define my ellipse, one, two, three, four, all right? So draw your ellipse as best as you can. So like an oval shape, so something like that. Okay, so there you have it. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, draw our axis. Now, um, this axis right here, this is your major axis, okay? And um, this is going to be our minor axis. All right, now let's see. We're going to go ahead and label this graph completely. So let's start by labeling the center. So this is the center right here. Center. Um, what are the coordinates of the center? The center is um, 2, comma, negative 1. Okay? All right. Now, next thing we're going to label, we're going to label the full side. The full side is 3.5 units up and down. So let's go ahead and label that. We're going to go 1, 2, 3.5. This is my second full side. I'm going to, well, let's call it focus 1. Focus one. What are the coordinates of this focus? Well, it went uh, 3.5 units downwards, so we're just going to subtract 3.5 from our y our coordinate, right? So it's one, two, one, two, three, four point five. So it's two, comma negative four point five. Okay, you can just add, subtract here, or you can just count. All right, and then we have to go 3.5 units up to find the second full size. So one, two, three point five. So that right there is focus 2. And the coordinates, we just um, add 3.5 to this, 2, comma, 1, 2, 2.5, positive 2.5. So there goes your second focus. All right. Now we're going to label our major ver vertex or major vertices. So let's go down. We're going to go down. One, the see this point right here is your major, your first major vertex. Okay, so let's count one, two, three, four. You go down four units from the center, so let's label that. This is your uh, major vertex. So, for your major vertex, um, the coordinates of your major vertex is one, two, two, comma. We went down 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, comma, negative 5. Major vertex 1. All right, major vertex 2 is going to be upstairs. 1, 2, 3, 4. There goes your second major vertex. Four units up from the center. Okay, we're going all the way to up there. So this would be um, major vertex 2. And the coordinates are going to be... Uh, two units to the right, and then you're going to go up one, two, three, two comma three. Okay. 
All right, now now that we have a major vertex, let's label our um, our minor vertex. So this is a minor vertex, this point right here, to the left and to the right. So um, let's call this minor vertex, minor vertex one. So minor vertex one. And the coordinates are, um, let's see, one, we just went two units to the right, right? So we just add two units to your x coordinate right here. So it's going to be four comma negative one. And then for your this piece right here, this would be our um, minor vertex two, minor vertex two. And the coordinates we just went two units to the left, so this would be uh, zero comma negative one for our second minor vertex. Okay, now another thing we need to know is the um, axis, the minor major axis. So let's go ahead and graph that. So this line right here is going to be your major axis, okay? So let me put the other colors back in so you can see them. Put that over there, put that over there. Okay, so this line, this solid line down the center is your major axis. So let's go ahead and label that, um, this line is your major axis. So the question now is, how long is your major axis? If you go up 4 and down 4, is 4 plus 4, which is 8. So the length is uh, 8. And then on the other side, this line right here, this is your minor axis. Okay? That goes your minor axis. Let me make it um, a little bit thicker so you can see. All right, so there goes your minor axis, and then the other one is your is your major axis. Okay, all right. So now let's um, the, let's label it and write down the uh, its length. Okay, so this piece right here, let's put it up, is your minor axis, and the length. How long is it? The length is uh, two units to both sides. The length is four. Okay. Now, the last thing we're going to label are the equations of the lines containing our axis. So this line right here, this line, is your, is, is contains the major axis. So this is a major axis line, and it's the line x equals. Just look at the x coordinate of the center. Well, the x coordinate of the center is two, so x equals two. Okay, and then this line right here is your uh, minor axis line, minor axis line. And it's basically the line, uh, the y coordinate will be your minor axis line. So it's going to be the line y equals negative 1. You look at the y coordinate of your set of your center to get determine the equation of your minor axis line. OK? So um, there goes your conic section. The lips fully uh, completely labeled, all right? So there you have it. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. You can click like if you like this clip. Please post a comment to let me know what you think about this presentation. More clips coming from MacroServe.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.